In this video, we will see how we are going to handle null values and also the Oracle in uh, functions that helps us to handle null values, basically NVL and NVL2 functions. Um, I have created a test table where right for some of the columns, we do have null values. Okay, so when I say null values, basically what it means is the value is unknown at the time of insertion or updating the data in that particular row. I am not aware of job ID of Steven. So what I will do is I will leave it blank or null. So we use the term null. So if I don't know the commission of these people, right, I have given left it as null. Same with the salary also. For some people, we have left the values as null. So I can't, right, if I want to get uh, so the null basically means uh, you are not aware of the data or the data for that particular row is unknown for that particular column is unknown so if for steven job his job id is unknown for me i don't know so i left it as blank null and in case of alexander i have left his salary as null and uh, same rate right? commission is null for these people and uh, for some people uh, right uh, the higher date is null say so for example for people like Wally and uh, Diana I don't know their higher date so I left it as blank so in Oracle null is in Oracle value not known or unknown not known we leave it blank. So let me do this, right? Say select star from, uh, let me do this, select star from uh, EMP underscore null, the test table that we have created. I can say where job ID is equal to IT underscore programmer. So it will return me all employees who are IT programmers. Whereas I can't say where job ID equal to null. Okay, that's where we are saying handling null values is a special scenario. I can't say where job ID equal to null, right? If I give it in quotes, then it, it checks for the actual literal null. So we don't have anyone, any job where job ID is null. Or if I remove the null and give also, it won't work, right? It says no row fetched. So basically, but I do have some employees whose job ID is null, right? If you see here, these three people job ID value is null. So basically, if you want to retrieve the rows where a specific column value is unknown, you don't know the value, your, the column is not populated with any value, then I have to say where job ID is null. I have to use the keyword is null. So now I get all employees where his job ID is null. So any column, if you want to check or retrieve only the values which is null, then I will use job ID is null. And similarly, if value is present, I want to make sure that I retrieve the columns where the value is always present, then I will use the condition called where job ID is not null. I'm not checking for any particular job ID. I just want to make sure that I retrieve all the records where job ID is not null. So this right uh, is null and is not null can be used along with all the different data types like higher date and salary. So if you see my EMP null table, right? I have for some employees higher date is null. It's a date field basically, higher date is null. For some employees salary is null. So this is also null value is there. Same with job ID and commission as well. So is null can be used along with here i've used with job id which is a varchar 2 string field so i can use this along with higher date and salary column as well so basically there is no restriction where uh, we are when we are using the uh, where is null condition i can say where higher date is null it gets me all employees where whose higher date i don't know Right, if you're not aware, or I can say where higher date is not null, right? So we have used it with the string field. We are using it with a date field. 
and similarly we can use this with the number field as well you can get right salary i don't know so right the is not null gets me all the values where salary is not null where salary is null you get it so basically right one more thing i want to say is zero the value of zero is not equal to null zero can be an explicit value okay a particular thing can be a zero a count you are doing some count and the count can be zero and if i don't know the count of that value i can leave that particular count field as null so there is a difference between null and count value the another scenario where right uh, if people ask is there only is null is the only way you know instead of is null i can say emp null where i can say where job id equal to without any space so this also denotes its where job id is null job id is null only works right even if you give it like quotes like this right it it won't work salary equal to empty you don't get any record okay uh, the next thing i want to talk about null is so if the value is null you want to return some value say for example if job id is null i want to if i don't know the job id then i want to return that particular column i want to return some value then i can use nvl function okay i can say select job id nvl nvl is a function which can accept either a date field or any type of data field it can accept and we say nvl of job id comma if the value is not present in the job id column what you want to print basically if the value is not present in job id column the value that you want to display so the value that i want to display is unknown okay so let me run this now so wherever the job id is not present it's a null you're getting the uh, right the column in unknown gets printed so the function of nvl is if it is null if it is null print this value right uh, and this nvl i can use it with any field right i can say select hire date comma nvl of hire date only condition is the data type should be the same so here i am passing the sys date as the data type nvl of hire date comma sys date from emp underscore uh, yeah it's a spelling mistake here sys date right wherever it's null it's printing today state 4818 so it's printing today state so same with salary field also we can do select salary comma nvl of salary let's say right i am not uh, changing the data type and let me run this let's see what it does it says inconsistent data types it says inconsistent data types expected number but what you got is date it's expecting some number but what we got is date so it should be always a number field right if it the value is null i'm saying print zero so this is what uh, right nvl function does and the other thing is if i add anything to null right you get back only the null value if i add anything to null what i get is i get back only the null values so the example i want to show here is right i will say select salary and i want to add to salary say 1000 rupees i'm just giving an example right from emp underscore null so let's see what happens right 24000 1000 gets added 25000 you see for three rows whereas adding 1000 to a null value returns only a null value adding 1000 to a null value returns only a null it's not showing 1000 right so how i can make sure that it shows 1000 is basically what we do is we say nvl if salary is null right i can say substitute this value with zero if not if salary is not null it will return salary only else return zero so now if i run it you will see right for null 
thousand gets added to salary, you get thousand here. Right. So this is how NVL function is. This is how NVL function in general is used. We do have another function called NVL2, right? Job ID NVL2, I can say. NVL2 is basically if the value is null, you want to pass some value. If the value is right, I can say select job ID NVL of, right? If it is null, what do you want to print? I want to print unknown. If it is present, I will say I know the job ID. So it's known, right? From EMP underscore null. Let's see what happens. Right? Invalid number of arguments, right? Because NVL accepts only two. I'm talking about NVL2 function, right? Sorry. So NVL2 basically it returns, right? Uh, if it is value is present, it returns the second parameter known. If it is null, it returns third parameter. Stand corrected, right? If the value is null, it returns third parameter, NVL2. In case of NVL, if the value is uh, present, it returns the second parameter. If the value is present, it returns second parameter. So I will say known unknown. Say for example, if it is right, if an application status is processed or not processed, something like that you want to know. Or uh, you may be right. Uh, so in those cases, we will use and we can use NVL2 function. So NVL function returns the second value if the first value is null. NVL2, right? If it is value is present, uh, if it returns the second parameter. If it is null, it returns the third parameter. So this is what NVL2 does. So what we have seen is in this presentation is we have seen how to use is null. Is null can be used along with any date fields is null and is not null and also we have seen oracle nvl and nvl2 function right see and there is another function called null if let's see what it does right select null if i can say 3 comma 3 from dual if both the values are equal right it returns null value if at least one of the values Null if returns null if both the values are same. It returns the first parameter if the condition is false. If the both the values are returned, it returns the first parameter. So this is another function. So what we have seen is NVL, NVL2 and uh, null if. Along with that, we have seen how to use is null and is not null. Thank you.